Happy New Year's everyone in 2018 back in the Hot Wheel Room. First video for this year. Sorry I've been away for a little bit. I haven't been making too many videos these past two months. Living in a home renovation. Very difficult to make the time to get down here and truly have fun like I like to do. Showing you all the neat stuff that I buy and all the new stuff that these awesome diecast producers are making. In this video today we've got a lot of new things to look at including the latest in the Hot Wheels Forza Motorsport Collection, as well as the Cars and Donuts from the Car Cultures Collection of Vehicles. We've got full sets there in duplicate. One set being opened up, of course. And over to the table. Got two layers of vehicles to show you here. I'll just show you the loose ones first. Really quick, a mixture of Auto World Vehicles, Green Lights, and not opened here are some Johnny Lightnings as well. So some nice new Johnny Lightnings to look at. Here are a quick overview of the green light vehicles we're looking at today. We'll be opening up a few of these. And now for the Johnny Lightnings. Lots of nice brand new castings or nearly new. We're going to look at a whole bunch of these. Most likely not opening them up, but we'll take a quick close look at them. An awesome Ghostbusters two vehicle set. And I do have a couple M2 vehicles here, but that's the only ones. We'll get those out of those cases. Surely one of my favorite brands of die-cast true 164 scale are these Auto World cars. Some really nice ones, including a favorite casting of mine, the big old Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And this big old 69 Kingswood Estate Wagon, which you did see a few of those loose. We'll start out by looking at the three Auto Worlds I did open up. I won't be opening up the other ones today on camera for you, but here are some of the recent additions to the Muscle Wagons series. They're limited to one of 1,800, and the Christine, limited to one of 4,800 worldwide. Let's look at this one in the package real quick. Real nice plastic protective pack, as some Auto Worlds come in, some don't have that. Doesn't really matter to me. If you haven't seen that movie, you definitely want to check it out. And here is the car. Looks really nice in the junkyard, doesn't it? Tons of details on this model. Of course, we saw the opening hood. Very detailed. Two air cleaners, two carburetors. One of the headlights is missing. And this thing is weathered all the way around, including the base, the wheels and all those bumpers, the windows just a terrific patina on this some amazing little details which are hard to even read with the naked eye but for sale sign and great rusting effects on this car as you can see really hope that there's more cars like this released by Auto World and Greenlight and all the manufacturers of these really detailed cars because I think they are quite highly collected by collectors and they look terrific. Let's just side by side. We'll look at this car in a minute as well, but there's a green light and an auto world. Great rusty old cars. Green light has been knocking the die cast out of the park lately with their awesome new castings they've been releasing. And also some really cool repaints of some fairly new castings and some of the older ones. These are amazingly detailed little 164 scale vehicles. And now we're going to take a look at all of them. Got to open up a few more of these I think. Definitely the Big Lebowski Gran Torino. I need to get that one out of the package. And a few of them you've seen I already have opened up. Really cool 69 Ford Mustang Boss from John Wick. And a few Hobby Shop Series 1 vehicles. I just got two of those. This thing is absolutely amazing. The Ramp Truck with another Boss Mustang. That's an exclusive, I believe. I'll look at that again closer before I confirm. And there's an exclusive of the Lincoln. The Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Chevy Silverado in the racing truck, support truck version. As well as this really cool new casting of the USPS mailbox mailing truck this vehicle is from the green light hollywood series 18 this is the latest release at the time of this video 
and I did get most of the vehicles in this set uh, f five out of the six anyways the sixth one was a Crown Victoria I feel like I have enough of those but this sheriff vehicle from Smokey and the Bandit 77 Pontiac Le Mans is a brand new casting first time we have ever seen it and uh, of course you've got the information on the movies on the back let's take a quick look at this one close up this is incredible for me I love these big old four-door cars I'm really partial for the old Pontiacs as well and uh, really like that Greenlight's just putting out a huge variety of these mid 70s and hopefully at some point early 80s four-door cars and station wagons things that uh, we all remember seeing in the movies some of the best movies of the time with the biggest car chases no special effects or computer generated effects just big old cars fishtailing around and jumping through the roads really nice to get that car so I had to pick up a couple of them can't wait to see what else they do with that casting and now we're gonna zoom out for a quick second this is from an old police show called Hunter which I do remember Rick Hunter 78 Dodge Monaco this is still fairly new casting I think this would be the third recolor we've seen of it and anyways let's look at the uh, let's look at the car it almost looks like a a full-on chase machine at first just because of the actual color of the car in the TV show is dark metallic green let's see if we can focus here so again very details engine license plate terrific job on the headlights and grill accurately sized tires and rims really the uh, the model speaks for itself look at how perfect that pinstriping is as well so really nice car to add to the collection another big car side by side to the Le Mans these are both big cars of the of the same era that hunter vehicle again from Hollywood series 18 and now another really cool one that a lot of people are gonna want I think is the Starsky and Hutch 76 Ford Grand Torino from Hollywood 18 there's the package there's the car really cool artwork on that packaging had to buy two so I could keep one in the package and let's take a look at this car very similar to the next car we're gonna look at the dudes 73 Grand Torino but a four, it's a four-door different castings entirely really sharp looking car I really like that green light has uh, got the wheels down to a scale width for all of their new vehicles it seems in the past some green light vehicles had rather thick tires thicker than you would normally find on a stock vehicle but just really cool details so we're gonna look at one that I don't have open up just yet the big Lebowski terrific hilarious movie and a wonderful rendition of the dudes big old Torino Look at all the scrapes and dings, scratches and rust all over this thing. And just to put both cars side by side here, you can see different castings. Even this one's longer because it's a four-door. But similar cars, not too many model year changes. The back is different, remodeled from 73 to 76. Awesome. so much better to get them out of the package in my opinion if you can afford to get rid of the packaging and not worry so much about the resale value which in my opinion it's not going to be terribly uh, a terribly big thing for these vehicles because they are even though it's only thousands of them produced that's enough that uh, collectors in the future probably will have so much selection by then that I don't really think it's going to matter if they're loose or packaged and all those years of storing it in the packaging it takes up a lot of room let's get the hood open on this thing if we can well I didn't try too hard but I was worried about chipping the paint with my little fine blade so I'm gonna leave the hood shut I'm sure the motor looks the same as the 73 or 76 so that's that car another big car for comparable comparisons of the size these are all big 70s full-size cars the last vehicle I have in the Hollywood series 18 set is the Ford Mustang this is a beautiful casting a little bit of dust on it opening hood 
and the John Wick information on the back. Really nice car. Probably should open that one up, but we've got to keep this video rolling. There's a lot to look at here. Hobby Shop Series 1. Grand opening. Grand opening of the series, I would think. And uh, here we have a really cool 56 Ford F100 with the drop-in tow truck. Really cool and authentic of the time period. No opening parts on this vehicle, but uh, you can hook up to your other green light vehicles. There's all the vehicles in the set. You can pause on that if you want to find out which other ones are available. A lot of repeated castings in this series, so I just kind of got really what I want, really like. This is going to complement my postal mail truck pretty nicely. You get a little 91 Jeep Wrangler YJ with the mail carrier. He's got his bag of mail. This vehicle has a removable top and I believe that's it. it doesn't, I don't think the hood opens on that one. Memory serves. I have quite a few of these little Jeeps. Just quickly, you might as well put it next to this vehicle. It's going to be a nice set. I will end up opening these up. This one comes with the mailbox, so for your diorama you got the mailman, the mailbox, and now two mail vehicles. As well as the Juristar. There's a big Juristar truck as well with the USPS logo on it. And I think the same information, yeah, as, as that one from a previous Heavy Duty Truck Series release, if memory serves. Gotta look at this one next, because this is by far just amazing. Really cool. Alan Moffat Racing. Another beautiful Mustang Boss 302. And with the matching Coca-Cola Tampos, this ramp truck has an opening hood. Got the actual working ramps on it. Really heavy set. And on the back of this, I have to just zoom out a bit, I think. So you can see the whole back of it. Pause on that. Got some specifications for the Mustang. And in the theme of racing, let's look at this Silverado next. Lots of gear in the back. There's been a couple renditions of this vehicle with the similar gear. Tailgate delete for quick racing response to the track safety response team. Lots of logos and tampos on it. Not much on the back of this packaging. Continuing with exclusives, got Greenlight Hobby Exclusive. Hobby, hobby, hobby. 65 Lincoln Continental, another awesome casting that was released a little while back. Big full size car from the 60s now, even bigger than these 70s land yachts. And a nice picture of the actual car in front of a mansion. This one does have an opening hood. As does the Dodge Charger Hellcat. 67, 37 to 2017. 80 years of Mopar. Really nice paint job. Nice rims, all metal. Wouldn't you like to have one of those cars to go do some donuts in? So that's the green light collection. Some really cool things. And now we're going to look at Johnny Lightning followed by M2 and Hot Wheels. One last thing, I almost forgot a couple of vehicles from the Muscle Series. Got this Camaro, what year is this one? 72 Chevy Camaro Z28, really nice. Look at those wheels, really nice casting. I think that's Muscle Release 3, can't remember, I opened it up, threw away the packaging. And the latest incarnation in the V8 Interceptor. Last seen as Mad Max's car in both gloss black and flat black. The 73 Ford Falcon XB with the zoomies on it. Nice new paint job for that one as well. Okay, now on to the Johnny Lightning. All but one of these models are from the 2017 production year. Just one is from 2016. We'll look at it last. First up. Let's check out this awesome little Ghostbusters diorama. This comes in a nice display blister pack. You can see it's got some graphics in the background. Best of all, it comes with all four of our Ghostbusting heroes ready with their electroplasm guns or whatever they're called ready. 
Got the Dodge Monaco and the Ecto-1. There's the back of the package. There's another set to be found, including the 58 Plymouth Fury Christine car and a 67 Chevrolet Camaro. I feel like I'm going to open this one up right now for you. That's better. There you go. Now we can have a nice close look at these models without the haze of the plastic in the way. Really cool. Now green light vehicles aren't necessarily 164 scale. They do vary slightly as well as some of the proportions on the older models aren't exact for the vehicles but still kind of like Hot Wheels they're just really authentic. They've been around for since the 1960s on and off that is and uh, they're doing some wonderful castings this year and look at all these cool little figurines that come with it all metal castings but to put that Monaco next to a green light Monaco you can see the difference in scale is pretty substantial these are basically the same car so I display my Johnny Lightning separately from my green lights and auto worlds just to keep you know my scale vehicles all together and my nostalgic fun toyish type vehicles uh, in another fun display whammo zammo okay next vehicle we're looking at really cool Richard Petty race car 72 Plymouth Roadrunner really nice artwork on this packaging one of 1752 and a little bit about the king of NASCAR there. Not sure if this is part of a series or not. It says special edition down there. It's got a blue base, which is kind of funny. Kind of Hot Wheel-esque in a way. Hot Wheels has made this car as well. Opening hood. Really nice. Got the little netting in the windows. Race netting. And just a nice heavy casting. Very solid. Next piece is from the... 2017 classic gold collection I guess that's out of the screen right there it's at the top right in 2016 the one vehicle I was telling you about that's not from this year it was in a full plastic blister wrap so this year they've opted just for the cardboard with the the bubble which I like almost a little better it's easier to display less plastic waste and uh, generally just easier to see the car if you're going to leave it in the package which I will because I really like the authentic uh, original artwork for these cars there's the whole series release three lots of cool vehicles in there I've got a couple of them here I think to look at in addition there's also I think three different colors to choose from in all these so really one of two thousand is one of six thousand cars made or maybe four thousand if there's only two colors I can't remember I think no I think there's only two colors but anyways here's from the same series classic gold collection AMC gremlin 72 AMC gremlin with white walls opening hood nicely done good size good scale size I think for that vehicle compared to most 164 scale authentic body colors on these from the time period grasshopper green poly which is really cool and the interiors are wonderfully done very authentic as well you got the two-tone white and tan most likely vinyl interior on this car not sure that gremlins came out with leather is that release three yep There's that one and then the jet set blue poly I really like this one and check out the uh, also authentic wheels for this car they're all authentic to the vehicles they're not standard wheels they are just put on every model that they have so really nice to see these authentic wheels and uh, castings really nicely done classic gold another classic gold is this what series is this release two so this is from a, a little bit farther back release three is the newest one I believe Oxford white solid with red pin striping red interior opening hood Nicely done casting. All metal, rubber tires. So there's that. 
And then these ones here, classic gold. Maybe these are these are the Maijo exclusives. Uh, 2017. So the exclusive ones appear to be in the plastic, unless I'm missing something here. You've got version A and version B. So I'm pretty sure I stand corrected on the original statement. There's three colors. Uh, nice, nice wagon. This is an old green light casting. It dates back to several years ago. One of my favorites, though, the 73 Chevy Caprice Estate. Probably more around the 170 to 172 scale. Although, unfortunately, Johnny Lightning doesn't put the scale on the bottom like Matchbox cars do or did. I kind of would like if they did do that. These ones have the hitch, which looks pretty good. It looks pretty authentic. It might be a little bit large, but effective for pulling the trailers. Because green light or Johnny Lightning does have trailers. I keep saying green light, but obviously we're looking at Johnny Lightning. Another Maijo exclusive, the America's finest selection of vehicles. I've got one here to show you. Really cool, and this is another older casting that's been brought back from the dead, so to speak. The 69 Chevrolet Chevrolet Blazer. Don't know what release that is. Didn't do my homework before I did this video, but anyways, that's also available in two different colors as well as the other five vehicles that go in that set. Finally, for 2016, this classic gold. I just picked this one up because I really like the car. The 67 Olds Toronado. Big old front wheel drive V8 powered car. I think it was V8. Might be a V6. Anyways, there's the other vehicles in the collection. I'm pretty sure I have some of these already. But I really like this car. So we've got that. That's the Johnny Lightnings. And now a quick look at the two M2 vehicles I have to show you today. Before we look at the Hot Wheels, really neat 57 Chevrolet station wagon with the fire, fire Chief Tampos all the way around. We'll slide that out for a quick look. As well as this 50 Oldsmobile 88, really cool design of a car. Lots of little features on these vehicles. Details abound on these M2 vehicles. Let's take this beautiful Chevy wagon in for a closer look opening doors opening hood rolls really well actually I'm always a little worried about the M2's because they uh, sometimes have some problematic wheels like many of the detailed scale models do but these ones are quite nice fit and finish very good and look at all the parts on this thing Got the whalers, all those actual chrome plastic hood ornaments, transparent headlights, rubber tires, chrome hubcaps, solid metal cars assembled with screws, and then the Oldsmobile, also whaler on the fender, intricate parts all over it. It's got a bit of spring to it, but that can usually be corrected. Doors close nicely. Beautiful shape. Not too many die-cast scale model companies are still making these really nice old 40s, 50s, and 60s cars. M2 really does a great job with these castings. They are very delicate, however. Not something you're going to buy for the kid to stick on the Hot Wheel track, but... As stack display models, they go along quite nicely with other scale vehicles such as Greenlight. I'll finish up my video with a review of the Hot Wheels 2 series that I had mentioned in the beginning. And the reason why they're at the end of this video is because they probably have been reviewed countless times already. Hot Wheels are the highest production collectible vehicle that I have and therefore are usually reviewed before I get my hands on them. So this might be uh, something you've seen already, and if not, well, here you go. Love this selection of vehicles. This was from the entertainment selection, I believe, unless I'm terribly wrong on this. Might be. Same size packaging anyways. 
Um, Forza Motorsport, really cool vehicles. Solid metal, rubber tires, real riders. Really nice paint jobs on these and some models that many collectors are interested in. For me personally, I really like these two. This 73 BMW race car. Let's see if we can spin that one around a bit. Some really nice details for a Hot Wheel $5 car. Tail lights, reverse lights, all the trim and badging. Can't see the base, but it is metal. And then this cool little Speedster, Porsche Speedster. Lots of details once again, including the tail lights and headlamps, signal lamps, all painted, door handles. Something that Hot Wheels is definitely getting better at this year compared to last year is putting in those extra details that we collectors really like to see on premium models. Sometimes though they still miss a few. They miss the headlights on this one. We put in some black strokes above them but I don't know if the headlights are necessarily painted on that. It would have been nice to see them silver. Regardless, really nice collection. I won't be opening those up. I only bought one set so those are going to go on my display wall where I typically put larger uh, Hot Wheel packaging of the sort. Goes all the way around the corner of course. That's another story though. Car culture. I have been buying every series of vehicles from this particular set since it came out last year. Cars and Donuts is the what it's called this time around and again got some really neat artwork with uh, re like the, d each vehicle of course pictured above it but each of the other vehicles in the series pictured in the background so that's pretty cool. And what what do we have for models here? Let's have a look. Nice. Nice cars. I don't know what that is. McLaren F1. How could I not know what that was? Nicely painted. It's got the headlamps on it. And here's a neat one. The Datsun 240Z. Fairly new casting. For some reason, they missed the headlights on it. And... They got the tail lights though, just not the headlamps. White base. Here we have the Alfa Romeo Sprint GTA. Pretty cool car, lots of details on it, I think. Spin it around. Nope, no painted headlamps or tail lamps, but nice, nice racing tampos. Nice wheels. Mm, one of my favorites here in this collection would be the BMW M1. Pro car. Pretty sure this is a new casting actually. I remember the M1 but it didn't have this spoiler on it before. Other than that, basically the same. Maybe a slightly wider body kit for the fenders. Really cool though. Like the uh, like the tampos on that. And finally, probably the big hit of this collection amongst new collectors will be the Subaru Impreza. WRX with transparent plastic headlamps, super detailed reverse tail lights, and all the badgings. Really nice looking wheels for this car, very similar to what you would actually see in the real life. A blue base, that's probably the best car in the series really, and likely to be the hardest one to find I think. I was going to open these up, but I think this video has gone on for long enough, and you've probably seen these before anyways, but if you're out looking for any of this stuff, happy hunting, and once again, hope your New Year's off to a great start, and you had some good holidays. We'll see you with plenty more videos in 2018.